Well, it has been quite a while since I've reviewed a power station. Frankly, I got kind of tired of reviewing them and nothing really seemed to, to fancy me in the past few months. Um, however, I am a pretty big Blue 80 fan. I like their power stations. And this is the, the AC70. It's kind of the smaller brother to the power station that I typically find myself 90% of the time taken with me. <laughs> and so far is my favorite one. And that is the AC180. This thing is, is, is perfect for everything that I need, but you can see the size difference here between the AC180 and the AC70. So this is just a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller capacity and a little bit less powerful inverter than the AC180. But to be honest, I've never really maxed this thing out for anything that I need on a camping episode. And it's fairly heavy. Now the AC70 has got 768 watt hours of LiPo 4 batteries in it. The AC180 has got 1152 watt hours. So again, a little bit less capacity than the AC180. This has got a thousand watt continuous rated pure sign inverter, whereas the AC180 has got an 1800 watt pure sign inverter. But again, I've never needed 1800 watts. So I'm thinking that with this size, a little bit smaller form factor than the AC180, it's gonna be perfect. Uh, cause again, I've never needed the full capacity of that AC 180. So I want to walk you folks through some of the testing that I do, and then actually take this out on my trip next week to run probably my Starlink and just, to, you know, lights charging up my phone and especially my camera batteries. Cause those things run dead so quickly now out in the heat, I'm constantly charging them up. So this is going to be my go-to next week, but diving in, let me show you what all kind of ports you have in terms of output and input and kind of go over the charging and then we'll get straight into the testing to see if this thing holds up to all my other Blue Eddies that have done very, very well. So let me kind of walk you through what's on this power station in terms of ports and what you're gonna be getting. So in order to turn this thing on, press and hold the power button and you're gonna get the big new Blue Eddy screen that's on all other power stations, but it gives you everything that you need, your DC inputs and outputs, your AC input and output, your battery gauge, and your runtime to empty. So everything on the screen that you would ever need is gonna be there. In terms of solar, you can input up to 500 watts of solar into this power station uh, between 12 volts and 58 volts and no more than 10 amps. So you can, you can put in enough solar to charge this thing up in under two hours. You have a standard 12 volt, 10 amp, regulated style cigarette charger. You're gonna get two USB-C 100 watt outputs and two USB-A 12 watt outputs. And then you got your two AC outlets over here on the side. And of course, to turn those on, you just press and hold that AC button. It's gonna turn on your inverter. And same for the DC. If you wanna run any of these output ports or the cigarette style, uh, 12 volt, you're just gonna press and hold that DC button till it lights up. Now all circuits are active. If you're not gonna be using these AC plugs, keep that AC turned off because this will use power keeping that inverter turned on. So in order to save juice, if you're not using those and just your, your DC outputs, make sure that AC thing is turned off. Um, you don't have any kind of light on this thing, which I am 100% okay with because I've never used a light on a power station. You got your cooling fans on the sides and a little grounding plug if you want to. And then this of course is just your AC input for charging. And then one handle up top. So overall, really nice, very simple design. Has everything that you're gonna need for a quick one or two night trip, or just to have for uh, emergency backup power. Nothing crazy fancy, just everything that you really need. All right, let's get the capacity testing done. But before I get these out of the way, just so you folks know, it does come with the AC charging cord. It's got a cigarette style to XT60 DC charging cord, and you've got your XT60 to MC4 connections for your solar panel input. So it's got three different kinds of charging cables for this unit. So you should be good to go in terms of all the, the needed cabling to charge this thing up. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this capacity testing done. So I'm gonna get this DC circuit cut on. Our battery is sitting at 100%. I've got my uh, little capacity tester here completely zeroed out. We're gonna plug it in, and this thing is rated at 10 amps. So let's crank it up, and I'm gonna keep it at 9.2 amps just to be on the safe side. And we're gonna let this thing drain down all the way to 0% to see how close to that 768 rated watt hours we can actually pull out of these batteries.
All right, we are wrapped up with the DC capacity test. See, we're at zero percent, and I was able to get 667.8 watt hours pulled out of that battery. So let's see, 667 divided by 768 watt hours that this battery has in it equates to a really respectable 87 percent efficiency rating. So typically. For a lot of Blue Eddies, I see between 80 and 85. So 87% efficient, that's great. That means you're getting 87% of the rated capacity that Blue Eddy is offering. So that's a pretty good score. All right, so now let's get this thing topped back up all the way to 100% and do an AC discharge test on it. Well, we are fully topped off to 100%. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the charger from the AC70. I've got my watt meter completely zeroed out. So now we're going to hook up my little light bulb array here and do a discharge test on this to see what we can get off of the AC side. And these three incandescent bulbs are pulling, let's just run two, 194 watts. So let's check back after this gets down to 0% to see how many watt hours we're able to pull. But while I have the AC running, Let's check the voltage and the sine wave to make sure that uh, it's doing well. So this is a 120 volt power station. And let's make sure that's what we're able to get. Yep, 121 volts running 200 watts. And while we're here, let's check the sine wave. Perfectly clean sine wave as well. All right, let's check back when this gets to 0%. Well, it looks like we have wrapped up the AC discharge test. We are at 0%. And let me get this thing unplugged to see how many watt hours we got out of it. So it is looking like wow, 723. 723 watt hours, guys. That is uh that's pretty good. So let's do 723 divided by 768, which is the rated capacity. That is an astounding 94% efficient. That is, that this might be the best power station that I've ever done this test on in terms of efficiency rating. So that is phenomenal. 94% efficient off of the AC, 87% efficient off of the DC. So. These batteries, these are doing really well. Yeah, guys, power stations very rarely nowadays really surprise me unless they're just bad. This truly surprised me with that efficiency, especially on the AC side, 95% efficient. That's, that's pretty crazy. But let me show you the different charging speeds that you can put into this uh, Blue Eddy. So right now I just have it hooked up to my, my bigger AC300, but it's the same as pl plugging it into a wall outlet. So it's all plugged up, we're good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna get my Blue Eddy app here pulled up, and you guys have seen this uh, probably quite a few times, but once you get the AC70 pulled up, you can see right now it's pulling or putting into this battery 418 watts. That's the standard charging speed. If you go up here to the setting menu in the top right, and you go down to the charging mode and click it, you can go to silent. So I'm gonna click silent, hit okay, and then we're gonna go back to the home screen and that's, see it drops all the way down to 250, 256 watts. This is really a good charging speed if you really wanna take care of these batteries. The less amount of input you can put into these, the better it is on the batteries, but it of course takes longer to charge them up. Now you can go back into that menu, go back into the charging mode and go into turbo, click okay. And we'll go back and that's going to start to input Climbing up to 750 watts, 800 watts, 900 watts, 900 and looks like 922 watts. So this is gonna get this thing topped off in about 40 minutes, less than an hour. So that's really, really quick if you're at camp and you need to get this thing topped off before you're leaving, before you're heading home. But again, it's a little bit more stressful on the batteries. So I'm gonna go back and I typically keep mine either on standard charging mode or silent uh, for this, I'm gonna put it on standard, click OK, come back, and that should be around 400 to 500 watts. 
Okay, yeah, 435 watts. So I'm gonna let this thing top up all the way up to 100%. But while we have the app up here, there's a couple of other features. So we'll go back into that little gear icon and you can go, you can see down here where it says power lifting. If you toggle that switch on, that's going to enable this power station to run up to 2000 watts, a resistive load, basically anything with a heating element. So if you're trying to run a hairdryer, a heating plate, hot gun, whatever, whatever has a heating element in it, it's going to allow up to 2000 watts. What's gonna happen is it's gonna drastically lower the voltage to keep that appliance running. So it will run like a coffee maker. Um, it just lowers the voltage down to sometimes between 80 and 90 volts, which you definitely do not want to do for anything other than a resistive load. No computers, no TVs, nothing like that. Um, it could damage that appliance, but if it's got a heating element in it, it's fine, it'll run it up to 2000 watts. So you can see here, I'm still charging at 438 watts. That's probably gonna take around hour and a half, two hours to get this thing fully topped off. And then when we get that done, I'll show you folks that it does have a UPS. You can use this as a type of home backup for a refrigerator, a fish tank, computer system, camera system, whatever you want. It does have a UPS feature, so I will show that to you. And then uh, we'll kind of wrap it up, but so far, <laughs> really pretty happy with this little guy. All right, so again, this is a 1000 watt continuous rated inverter on this AC70 and just so happens that I have a 1000 watt hot plate. So we're gonna plug this guy in, get it turned on, get the AC cut on, and crank this thing to max. And that's putting out 975 watts. So while this sits here, and continuously runs basically a thousand watts. Let's check the voltage to see what this thing's given us when it's running basically its full capacity. That's pretty amazing. 121 volts. That is, that's nice. Let's check the sign on it. And still perfectly clean sine wave too. That's impressive. Running a thousand watts. Let me put in, this is around 300 or so watts worth of incandescent lights. Let's plug it in and see how much, or see how long this will run over its rated capacity. So that's pushing it at 1250 watts. We are over its capacity. I do not have the power lifting turned on Got one light that wasn't all the way screwed in. There we go. That's putting it to 1,350 watts, and that is hot. Whew. Get that out of the way. Still going? There we go. Finally shut down. So I got about a good minute of running 1,350 watts off of this power station. So it will handle a surge over its continuous rated uh, running wattage for about a minute, which is which is decent. But the good thing is it did cut off, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. It is protecting itself from overexerting the batteries. So another passing score for the AC70. Now I'm going to plug this into my wall outlet over here, kind of demonstrate the UPS functionality of it. Let's get that AC cut back on. All right, get this in the screen. So again, I have this plugged into my wall. It is running 340 watts. So let's check the UPS. So I'm going to unplug it here from the side and it's gonna transfer my home grid running these lights directly to the battery to run these lights. So let's see how fast it is. And you'll be able to see these flicker a little bit in three, two, one. I don't even know if you can see that crazy fast. Let's try it again. In three, two, one. Hardly a flicker, extremely fast. So another one, another good one. 
All right, so that's gonna do it for the testing I'm gonna do on this. This has passed with flying colors, everything I've thrown at it. The efficiency rating on this has surpassed every single power station I have ever reviewed, including other Blue Eddy power stations. So 94% efficiency off of the AC discharge. That is unheard of, at least for me and my testing. So that is incredible. And right now on Blue Eddy's website, this is going for $479. Let's do some quick math. That's about 61 cents per watt. That is a good deal. That is a good price. Yeah, 480 bucks is not cheap. I'm not trying to say that, but for what you're getting with this power station and per watt, that's how a lot of these reviews are done. So you can kind of get an idea of what you're spending per watt that these batteries have in them. 61 62 cents a watt hour that's um that's that's very good there's really nothing much else i can say about this little ac70 i love the size i love that it's not crazy huge efficiency rating is great the thousand watts is more than enough for anything that i would use out camping it's not going to run an ac unit it will run a hair dryer at 1500 watts if you turn on power lifting it's just going to lower the voltage it'll run a hot plate it'll run a heat gun uh, pretty much anything that you're going to need at camp other than trying to run a big 13.5 BTU air conditioning unit. Uh, this would probably run a 5,000 BTU window AC unit. I just don't have one here to test, but I think it's absolutely perfect, perfect size for camping one or two nights and being able to input 500 watts worth of solar is going to get this thing topped off in a perfect condition in under two hours with solar. So that's that's another benefit. That's another good good point of this power station. I think it's a great little power station from, uh, from Blue Eddy. So I think they kind of did really well on this particular one. So um, I'm not an affiliate of Blue Eddy, but I will leave a link for this power station down there below that you can check out yourself. Uh, make sure it's on sale because technically right now when I'm looking at this thing on Blue Eddy's website, it's normally $6.99. Uh, currently on sale for the 479. So I think that's a really good deal for this power station. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching and we will catch you soon. Take care.